Hey there, Silver Soul 7. Joe Bon Giovanni here from the Kettle Pond Institute for Debt Free Money. For Debt Free Money. Still for Debt Free Money. And uh, I wanted to do a reply back to this video, um, which I think you titled it Endogenous Money. Um, but, um, you know, didn't really get into, you know, the significance of why the concept of endogenous money is a concept that, you know, overlaps, takes over, overcomes. Um, the issues of, of debt money and, and debt free money and fractional reserve banking just you know it's like it's like it, 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 it's it's as if there's something that we fail to understand like with Steve Keen you know you know Steve Keen um, you know we posted our interview with Steve Keen we posted video with Steve Keen you, you know and and you know, I think I invite all of you know uh, viewers to uh, take a look at the videos that we posted because you know Steve Keen made a, it was present in, at the American Monetary Institute's conference last year and made a, made a presentation that was kind of based on the same thing that you're saying here which is that oh you guys don't really understand the money system because uh, fractional reserve banking doesn't work where there's a deposit and you know and then they use that you know they use that money as a reserve that really you know that the banks make the loans first and then they go out and they find the reserves you know like as if this is some kind of a you know as if this was some kind of a you know you know a thing that came down out of the sky and said oh and therefore you know all of the other all of the other views that we have about how money works are wrong okay and you know from the first time i heard it i said you know well of course that's what happens but you know so what you know but so what now, one of the things, you know, that one of the reasons that you have to keep in mind, but this is an important thing, okay, is because of the work that Dr. Karu Yamaguchi presented at the American Monetary Institute Conference last year in which he said a switch from debt money, you know, just from debt money, you know, where money is created as a debt, which is what we do with fractional reserve banking, which for some reason you, you know, you want to, you want to, us to continue to have now, you know, uh, uh, that he he said we could eliminate government debt, uh, and and uh, and we can do it without inflation or deflation, and we could grow the economy up to its up to its potential, uh, given whatever those natural limitations are, you know, to its potential, up to its potential, okay. And and in which you know the question was asked of Dr. Karu Yamaguchi. Um, uh, you know, because Steve Keen said, oh, well, you modeled it, you know, on the basis of, you know, multiplying out reserves, you know, even though Keen said Yamaguchi had the best system dynamic model for, for macroeconomic modeling that he'd ever seen, okay? But he said, he said, well, because of you, you first, you know, had the deposit and then, and then did the lending, you know, you have it all wrong. And Dr. Yamaguchi went back and remodeled in which case he said, you know, it doesn't matter. The growth of the debt money supply, you know, based on the loans that are made takes place. And then, you know, subsequently the reserves are, are created. All that really did was was basically like created a, a time lag in, in the model. You know, the result was absolutely the same. Okay. So my point is that endogenous money does nothing to change either the economics of moving to debt-free money or... Or the or the rationale for the political, uh, you know, you some of many of your your, your comments and many of your, your you know your movies, you, you say that you know well you're against you know all this you know power of the bankers to you know to just drive us into into uh, uh, well whatever you know, but yet you want to have fractional reserve banking. I mean, you have fractional reserve banking. The bankers are in control. They're in control of the money supply. They're in control of the economy. And again, like I said to your first comment, please explain why endogenous money, you know, makes the difference that, you know, that whatever we said in our video that you were replying to, and that's why I'm here, okay, uh, you know, is, is, is changed. And you haven't done that, okay? You just, just you've said, well, it's, ba it's based on a lack of understanding. It's like as if I, you know, don't follow MMT and, 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 and the theories there, okay? I take issue with that with them. And I do it directly. And I'll do it directly here. Now, 
somehow or other, you know, you're claiming to, you know, have passed our level of understanding here at the monetary reform school, okay? Uh, you you missed something, okay? Clearly, you missed something. I mean, five and a half minutes into your state, into your thing, you say, even if you do, even if you do, you did full reserve banking, you know, banks would still create money, okay? There's full reserve banking. Banks can only lend the money that they have. How do they create money? Now, there's the question for you. You can reply it back to me, okay? How could they create money? All they can do is lend money that's already been created and that's already in their accounts. So banks cannot create money under full reserve banking. You know? If you really understand, if you really read the Kucinich bill, use the Kucinich bill and show me under what part of the Kucinich bill banks can create money on, on the basis of full reserve banking, okay? I mean, the whole Austrian concept with, which backs full reserve banking says that, no, banks aren't, can't re create any money on full reserve banking, but the only way that money can increase is by having more gold, and therefore we're going to have deflation of the money supply and therefore price, general price deflation, okay? Because why? Because at least they understand that with full reserve banking, you cannot create money. Now, the banks cannot create money, okay? Um, so, so that's that's kind of you know one one gen general general uh, issue that I have with your explanation. Would, and the other one, of course, would be just the fact that there's no you're not really providing us with any causal relationship. You're sort of trying to introduce people to the concept of endogenous money, which is fine. You know, to me, it might, you know, I'm a so what about endogenous money? Totally, 100% so what about endogenous money? I'm totally 100% so what about stock and flow analysis? You know, my criticism of modern monetary theory is they leave the creation of, of money to the private banks. Why? Why? Why don't they recognize, you know, the state money concept? You know, they're actually in favor of creating debt-free debt -free money by the by the government they're in favor of it you know they do it through this by saying that you know we're only falsely constrained against deficit spending by creating money so they're in favor of creating debt free money you know as the economy needs it in order to to seek full employment as are we you know the total in, in favor of there being the, the full employment as the driving the driving uh uh uh, you know, socio-political policy, as are we, you know, as a why, which is why Dennis Kucinich's bill is called the National Emergency Employment Defense Act. Okay, so so we're with them there, but but you know, Bill Mitchell and and company can't seem to get beyond the fact that that in fact the monetarists view. With regard to, with regard to maintaining stability of the price of the of the of the of the currency, is sound. That that's a sound principle. Yet they never dispel it. They dispel it by by putting out you know. Alternative, peripheral, tangential uh, perspectives, that have nothing to do with that. That have nothing to do with that. So you know. Uh, you know, if you re if you read either of either Bill Mitchell's um, thing on full reserve banking, something I used very recently as a link, and and also on the Kucinich bill, you know what he calls the almost or the nearly full employment or so-called full employment bill of, of of Dennis Kucinich, you know, and you read the criticisms in there, th that's the substance of it. Okay, that's the substance of it. I don't have anything to do with this endogenous money thing, okay? Endogenous money means nothing. It doesn't, I mean, you shouldn't even use the term because it turns people off, you know? Just use the term and say, oh, in fact, credits, you know, credits, uh, 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 you know, banks make, make loans, period, you know? Well, before we were banking, banks would still make loans. They would still provide loans to every creditor, to every borrower that came into the to the bank that was creditworthy. 
There will be no difference with that. So my question to you is, is you know, where's all the central planning that comes in? You know, the only central planning is 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 a is to make a determination of what the quantity of the money should be. You know, and you can say what you want, but the productivity, the 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 the, the, the resources that you have, all that stuff ends up being it's going to end up being a uh, an economic projection and that economic projection is able to be uh, manifest itself through monetary policy okay and you know you can be wrong you know you can be wrong your your, <coughs> your stability of the currency can be off by a quarter of a percent but there's no big deal about it but the banks are not first of all determining where money enters the economy okay they are going to determine where loans enter the economy but not money and that's the difference so i think that <clears throat> we have a long way to go here in order to try to come to an understanding of why for instance you know you you know your explanation to me of why dr bernard Semp's work on the deeper uh, roots of the of the of uh, world financial crisis is 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 not you know is not sound it's not ultimately sound it's not penultimately sound you know a guy who a guy who admitted that you know after all of his years of teaching economics and giving out degrees that he didn't really understand economics because he didn't understand the money system because understanding the money system is key to understanding economics anyway i hope that we're going to have a discussion here and let's uh, let's have it on the videos thank you Thank you.